Have you ever had that moment where you were just casually scrolling through Instagram when suddenly you were like, Huh, I bet I could make this. But then you look closer and realize that the whole recipe is in Japanese? Thank goodness Google Translate exists. I decided to try my hand at making peach rare cheesecake, so I grabbed my apron and dashed off to the kitchen. Actually, it was a little more complicated than that. Most of the ingredients were fairly straightforward, but a few of them were hard to find. My sister Amy found me some agar at an Asian food store, but we couldn't find a can of white peaches anywhere. So finally, I bought some fresh white peaches as well as some biscuits for the crust. I guess these are proper biscuits. I don't really know. I'm not British or Japanese. And then I finally made it to the kitchen, but I have to warn you, this video is going to have a lot of commotion and commentary in the background because my siblings and parents were preparing for a garage sale and they were in and out a lot. Well, mom might not like it, but she might just have to deal. That's true. Deal. I should sit and then I'm not so tall. Oh yeah, you should definitely sit. What did mom say? She said move her stuff, she doesn't care. Does she care if it's not moved? Do you care if it's not moved? And yes, most of us live together, and yes, we're all adults. This is what happens in COVID times. Let's move on to the peach rare cheesecake. Here on this counter, I have laid out, I'm pretty sure all the ingredients I need. I've got my unflavored gelatin. I've got my telephone brand agar. Do you know if this is pronounced agar, A-G-A-R? Your audience won't know the difference. <laughs> Agar. You're basically right. Agar? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Agar. I got my agar. Anyway, so the first thing I need to do is take this mold, as it's called in my Google translated recipe. I believe I would call it a springform pan. And I need to cut parchment paper to fit the bottom, and then I need to make a crust with Biscuits and drawn butter. I don't even know what drawn butter means. I'm assuming it means melted based on the picture. You should have some kind of a sign here on your phone. Well, I'm filming, but if you do something that you want me to not put in the video, I won't put it in the video. Oh, it's only been like that. So like the Korean expert. Um, <clears throat> do you know if there's a magical way to keep the... A little bit of grease. Oh, like, oh, okay. Like under the parchment paper? A lot of the measurements were actually by weight, so I used this kitchen scales to weigh out 100 grams of biscuits, and then I dumped them in a plastic bag and crushed them with a rolling pin. Then I weighed out 80 grams of butter and melted it in the microwave. Oh, yeah. Drawn butter is melted butter. Where'd you find that at? I googled drawn butter. <laughs> then I dumped the butter into the bag with the crushed biscuits, mixed it around, and spread it on the bottom of the pan to make a crust. It wasn't quite enough, so I crushed up some more biscuits and melted some more butter, and this time I just eyeballed it. Once the bottom was sufficiently covered, I put it in the fridge for half an hour. Alright, so the next thing I was supposed to use a can of white peaches, which I couldn't find anywhere. All I could find were fresh white peaches. I'm also supposed to use the syrup, so I guess I'll just use sugar, sugar syrup. Okay, so I need... 150 milliliters. I ended up using 75 milliliters of sugar syrup and 75 milliliters of water to replace the 150 milliliters of canned syrup, and it was fine. I mean, any sort of sugar water would have worked fine for this. Then I took two of the white peaches, peeled them, and cut them into thin slices. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to turn them into a skirt, I think. Can I see your pants, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> There's just something so hilarious to me about Jenny wearing Austin's pants. I thought that fly was a spider. <laughs> so this red food coloring is a bit strange with a lot of crusty stuff around the cap that looks like blood. However, ooh, I'm just going to put a tiny bit into the syrup. Bring something off. There we go. Ooh, that might be a little bit too pink. Oh well, whatever. We'll just go with it. I'll pour it over the peaches. There we go. Now I'll put this in the fridge for two to three hours and hopefully it will dye them kind of pink. Ooh, I got this all over my hands. Mom, are you aware that there's ants in the gelatin? No, I'm not aware of that. What? This 
spoonful doesn't have any ants. Do your missionary practice and pick out the bugs. Then it was time to make the cheesecake filling. I'd never worked with unflavored gelatin before, but the recipe said to sprinkle a tablespoon of it into three tablespoons of water and then microwave it for 20 seconds. Have you ever made gelatin before? Uh, I mean, I've made like jello gelatin. Do you know if I need to just like stir it now? I would, yeah. Yeah, basically you want them to get it, just get it dissolved. Oh. Um. Okay, so when it says to make it liquid, that probably means dissolve it. Yes. Is this like a recipe in translation? Yeah. Using a spatula, I mixed 250 grams of room temperature cream cheese with 60 grams of sugar. Then I mixed in 100 grams of yogurt and a tablespoon of lemon juice. After that, I added 200 milliliters of cream in two parts, and then I added the gelatin solution. I had a hard time getting the lumps out, so I probably should have just used a hand mixer, but the Instagram video person used a whisk, and so I also used a whisk. Mix well, pour into mold, and cool in the refrigerator for three hours to harden. Then came the fun part. Honestly, this rose shape was quite fancy looking, but it was so easy and fun to make. The fresh peaches worked fine, and I was so glad I'd insisted on white peaches instead of buying canned yellow peaches because, I don't know, a bright orange rose just wouldn't have been nearly as pretty. Okay, put sugar in agar. Do you know if it's pronounced agar? Um, in science, a lot of people pronounce it auger. Auger. Auger sounds like the thing that gets grass yeah. seed into the truck. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if that's the actual pronunciation or if people just say that. Maybe Google now. Yeah, I think Ben Googled it earlier, but I forget what, oh, okay. so I forget what conclusion he came, came to. 225 pronunciations of Agar. 200? Oh, no. <laughs> well, maybe the joke should just be that I pronounce it differently every time. CambridgeDictionary.com or .org says agar. Agar. Yeah. Agar. Agar. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm pronouncing it agar in my voiceover, but I kept saying agar in the video, so you'll just have to forgive me for that. So I mixed 15 grams of agar with 40 grams of sugar, and then I dumped it in a pan along with 350 milliliters of water and the syrup from the peaches. Then I put the pan on the stove and prepared a bowl of ice water. Oh, how pretty. Oh, that is very beautiful. Thank you. I brought the agar mixture to a boil and simmered it for two minutes, and then I cooled it off in the ice water for three minutes before pouring it over the cheesecake. Isn't that bizarre? Oh my goodness. The problem is all the stuff gelatinized in the pan and so the rose wasn't quite completely covered. So apparently this is edible. I'm just gonna try a little bit and see what I think. This is very strange. Do you wanna try some? I'm like, feels like you shouldn't be eating it. It's sort of a jellyfish idea. Mmm. So bizarre. <laughs> yeah. It's just a texture that I'm not used to eating. Me either. Mm. Do you want to cleanse your mm. palate with a leftover yes, peach slice? Yes, I do. Thanks. The recipe said to put the cheesecake in the fridge for three hours so the agar would set, but I ended up leaving it in overnight. The next day we had a garage sale, so a bunch of friends came over for that, and I managed to convince some of them to sample my cheesecake. Unfortunately, there was also a lot of construction going on, so background noise was inevitable. 
Jenny, why don't you show off your skirt? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and as my samplers, I have Jenny Swagger, <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> I'm Dolly, Tristan, and, and Allie. Allie. All right. Jenny, do you want to cut some? I would love to cut some. I should get a close up. Oh, it's harder than I anticipated. <laughs> oh, hey, Phoebe. I have to show there is a giant machine over here digging ditches, which is why it's so noisy. I'm wanting to get it all at once, but it doesn't want to stay on the fork. <laughs> there we go. It's good. I like it. Uh, like the cheesecake stuff is really good. The jello stuff on top has like no flavor. It's just, it's just the crunchy. texture is very odd. It is. It's kind of crunchy. It's like the texture of a really firm canned fruit. The jello. <laughs> all right. Let's get Hannah's reaction. Try. It's pretty good. She's it's actually on the top. It's, it's very firm, it is. but it has a nice flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Ooh, the crust is good. Mmm, that's good. I like it. The top is interesting. <laughs> you made it's it. It's so You're pretty. Allowed. Like that pink color is just yeah. So the color is great. It is rather crunchy. <laughs> I mean. It definitely is the same texture of like the stuff you use in the science lab, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I love the cheesecake <laughs> and the crust. It's beautiful. But this thing. <laughs> Actually, when you eat it with the fruit, mm. it's a very good combination. So I think that this would be really good with like, kind of like a fruit jello thing. Mm. Maybe with just a little less agar, 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 whatever. Yeah, that's kind of what we're, what I was thinking. I would say it's a fairly successful experiment. I think that's a great way to put it, Simone. I do think it was a successful experiment. Now, if I did it again, I think I would just either use less agar or just use gelatin. I'm almost convinced that the Instagram recipe just had the wrong amount of agar in it. But I've also seen people online do very similar things with gelatin, so why not just use gelatin? Although, if I made it again, instead of taking the syrup from the peaches and dumping it in, you know, with the agar or gelatin, I think that I would just dye the peaches with pink water and then completely not even put it into the gelatin because it kind of made the agar have a bit more of a cloudy texture than it did in the Instagram video. I think what I would do is just gelatin and then peach flavoring, sugar, and a little bit of red food coloring. Or maybe instead of that, just using some like peach syrup like they used to make Italian sodas. I also wanted to say that in the Instagram video with like the English caption, it said, peach rose cheesecake because it had like a rose pattern but when i google translated the japanese it said peach rare cheesecake which i just thought was funny so i kept saying peach rare cheesecake but i think after googling it i'm pretty sure that rare just means like it's unbaked anyway it was fun it was actually pretty easy and it ended up looking magical so as always I hope you have been inspired to make something magical and I'll see you later.